your composer gloves here, and today we're going to talk about additive synthesis. So, what is additive synthesis? Additive synthesis is whenever you take something. Uh, so, okay, well, there's a there's a thing called subtractive synthesis. So you have a thing; it's already all there, and then you filter stuff out. So additive synthesis is you have nothing, and then you add things together to get a thing. So there's a few ways we can reach additive synth. Uh, well. Yeah, yeah, there's there's a few ways you could do this. So the first way is we could have a bunch of wave of waveforms that are individual of each other. So here I have a sine wave. Here I have a saw wave. And if I add them together, they are separate. They have their own individual controls. I can mess with them individually, change the way they add, and that is additive synthesis. That is the core of it. If you really want a crash course in additive synthesis, so most engines, people are going to say, oh, this is additive or this is subtractive. That's like such bull crap. Like most engines, good ones, are like everything. They have additive elements. They have subtractive elements. They have frequency modulation elements. So just a little side note for you. But if you really want a crash course in additive, check out Harmer. What they have done, and the reason it's additive, is each one of these harmonics is individually added using a frequency domain. And this frequency domain is called up, and they have all the phased, a phase domain and an amplitude domain. And by combining these things additively, you gain control over each individual harmonic. So you have additive synthesis and what I consider to be the most intuitive method I've ever seen applied. So this is one of my favorite synths. I have a whole series on it, and I'm even doing a... Um, how to do sound design with it series. So if you're serious about some of this stuff, this is one of the tools that you'll probably be interested in using for additive synthesis. Other synthesizers have this, like Harmer, for example. I mean, not Harmer. Citrus, if you come into their operator tab and you go to their oscillator tab, you can additively add harmonics as well. It's not to, it's different than, it's different than what Harmer does. But it's still, it's got an element and it's got subtractive elements. It's got RM elements and FM elements. So as you can see, it's a way, this is also a really powerful engine. Now, if we come over here to this oscillator, this three times oscillator. So we have three oscillators. We can add them individually. This is considered additive synthesis. So that's what additive synthesis is. Yeah, if you have, if you have any questions, let me know. Subscribe and have a blessed day. Composing gloves. Reversing.